Hello YouTube! This is Antibody from Team Zenotic, and I'm here to show you a couple of new things about our upcoming 0.8 release. Um, so Zenotic is a free and open source arena shooter available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So the genesis of this is I had the wonderful opportunity of talking with the folks over at Jupiter Broadcasting about some features that are coming in our 0.8 release, which will be coming out quote unquote soon. While talking about these things is great to really get a feel for all of our hard work and what it's achieved, I'd like to show it to you. So that's exactly what we'll be doing here. So first, let's take a look at the server browser because that kind of requires being in this menu, which you see right here. So, so the server browser looks a little different now. Whereas before we would kind of slap you with a whole bunch of servers in this list here without any categorization, you now have some high level filters available uh, for you to choose the right game or the right server say for you. So, what we do is we categorize based on like vanilla to non-vanilla from the top to the bottom basically um, so the normal servers are at the top they're labeled as such um, and being an open source game we have a lot of modifications we actually encourage that uh, but we also want to be transparent about what servers are running those modified settings uh, so we do that under the modified servers category uh, so even even further like a different derivation of the game altogether is an overkill mode. Um, so you have that there, and then you have instigive mode has its own little filter, which is your instant hit, hit scan kill weapons. Um, and then lastly, uh, race mode. Uh, there's more. If I were to favorite one of these guys, it creates a different filter category for me. Um, but this is all entirely new, and it's aimed at connecting you to the right server. So we don't want you to pick a pick a random server and get something that you don't expect. So anyway, that's that. So also during the broadcast, I talked about a couple of great new maps that we have that, that are focusing on the capture the flag game mode. Uh, so if I go over to my local server dialog, which is under this create button here, click on the capture the flag category, you'll see these three maps in this list, and they are as follows. So Catharsis by Justin, Implosion by Mintox, Mirio, and Mario, and last but not least, Vorix by Packer. So as I'm describing some of the other things I want to talk about, I'll just kind of give a little overview of these maps and kind of walk through them. So. Let's go ahead and start at the top with Catharsis. We'll just go uh, alphabetically. Let's give ourselves some bots here. And I really don't want to run around to find all of the weapons that I want to show you. So I'm just going to check this most weapons um, to kind of cheat and give me all the weapons first. All right, so let's go ahead and click Start, which should put us into a local game relatively quickly. Okay, so I'm going to join in here, and I, I see that the automatic weapons have worked. I do have my my awesome set of weapons that we have here. Um, so, first things first. Everybody's interested in the new weapon that we've been uh, developing as the bot is uh, coming after me here. Okay, so that new weapon is the arc. So let's see exactly what that looks like. So here is the arc. Boom, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so you note, it's a hit scan weapon. It has a beam of electricity that comes out of it. And it does a pretty good job. Oh, hello, bot. Okay, so what you really want to know about the arc is this. So it's called an arc for a reason. In that... If you watch this beam closely, if I turn, let me see if I can find a uh, kind of clean background. If I turn, you kind of see it bending a little bit. You see that? Um, so it's not exactly a rigid, straight beam of electricity. It does bend a little bit as you move from side to side. Um, another thing you'll note is there's a ring around uh, the uh, the crosshair, and that is that is to tell you 
how much time you have left before it overheats. So there is overheating on this weapon to to balance it properly. And let's let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we're just waiting, waiting. You see the see the ring going, and boom! As soon as I hit that ring, um, as soon as the ring touches itself, rather becomes a complete ring, uh, you'll get an overheating, and uh, that stops the firing of the weapon naturally. And you gotta wait for it to recharge. Okay. Hello, bot. No, thank you. All right. So another thing to note is that ring also controls a little bit about how save myself from dying here and just run away teammate why don't you help me um so if i fire let go and try to fire again rapidly you get a little bit of a stutter step on that and that's intentional to try to control uh continuous spamming of the weapon as uh, as you can see in some other games Okay, so let's just fly around Catharsis for a little bit, really enjoy the awesome work that Justin did for this map. It's really a fantastic Capture the Flag map. I've been playing on it for quite a while. Uh, great gameplay here. Okay, so it's all built around this main central sweeping area with this bridge going across it. So up here is where the Mega Armor is, and down here is where we get your power up spawning every couple of minutes or so. Okay, so so that's the arc. Um, and that's a little bit more of catharsis. Let's, let's take a little drive by around of some of the other areas. Down here, this is where you can find uh, the Nex up on this. Or actually, it's called the Vortex now. Um, old habits die hard. Uh, but the Nex is up here. The vortex is up there. Blue scores. Um, so this is kind of the lower path to getting caps. So let's go up to the the base over here. I'm the red team, so I'm actually going to the wrong base, but, you know, whatever. So here's the main base. You got that upper escape route, uh, and you have this lower one here, which is just kind of a pathway around. Red flag taken. Okay, so lots of opportunity for uh, excellent gnarly cap runs. So let's just see. There's that hallway. I don't want to go in there. Okay, so so that's Catharsis. Let's move on to the next map, shall we? This next map is called Implosion. It's another Capture the Flag, flag map, naturally. And um, it's by originally by one of my good friends, Mintox. Okay, so this one is an open kind of space floater. See, it's it's pretty darn open, but it's got a great layout of um, jump pads. <laughs> See you later, bot. Um, and the next is, or the vortex is way up here. Is where it spawns. I already have it, so you can't really see the weapon spawns, but it's up there in your normal mode. Ooh, ouch. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the buff system. I mentioned it's kind of like power-ups, but it's more, you know, kind of potpourri-based. It's, it, it's just adding uh, another dimension, another couple of dimensions, actually, to the gameplay uh, and make it a lot, a lot of fun. So as I fall off the map here, let's see what a buff looks like. So... To enable buffs, it's a server-side option. So I think it's G buffs one, yeah. And then we'll do a restart. And what we should see is instead of the normal like quad damage or uh, shield, what we'll see here's one is this little coin guy. All right, and so this guy is a buff. And they appear frequently. There's several varieties of them. I I won't go into all the the different ones uh, here, but suffice to say that uh, there's a good number of them. I want to say like there's eight. Oh, and the bot just took it. Anyway, so taking a buff has the same kind of effect as a, as a power up in that uh, it empowers you with something cool. So 
some of the more useful buffs that exist out there are the invisibility buff. So you can become kind of not fully invisible, but almost translucent. There is the speed buff, which is which is really cool. You go just wicked fast when you pick up the speed buff. Um, but in any case, I, I think you get the idea in that uh, they're just trying to add a little variety and fun to the gameplays. You know, nice and lighthearted. Um, and it's great amongst friends. I've had, I've had a lot of fun on some of the SMB servers uh, with the new buff system. As we explore a little bit more, the lower level of implosion here. There's a cool little uh, jump pad this way. To skip right over to the base. Here's another really cool jump pad. So normally when you want to get the vortex, which as I said earlier is in this area, you kind of have to time your jump appropriately to kind of get right there which I just failed miserably at, but you get the idea. Um, another awesome feature of this map. Great capture the flag games on this map. Also lots of quick caps by following through all the way on this jump, like so. Actually, you know what? Flag's right over there. Why don't we do it? Why don't we? I'm gonna use the cry link to speed around a little bit. Whoa, caught a ramp there. Let's get some health on the way. Nice. Okay, so that's Implosion. Next map, please. Okay, so what do we have? Let's go to Map Vorix. All right, so this is Vorix by Packer. Again, capture the flag map. Uh, this one has lava. It's indoors. Lots of shards for you to pick up. And lots of interesting gameplay around this central area. The buffs in this one... Uh, oh, I just picked up an invisibility buff. So you can kind of see how I have changed. If I go over near the wall, you can see my... Um, you know, my, my Devastator, which is a new name for the rocket launcher. It looks a little translucent. Anyway, so to your enemies, you'll look that you'll look the same way. A little bit harder to get a crosshair on. The map has nice flow. It's reminiscent of the map Dusty, like a bigger version of Dusty if you are coming from Nexius. Um, but you know, it's it's its own map in its own right, and Packer did a fantastic job, in my opinion. Okay, so the last thing that I kind of want to talk to you about is kind of a small feature, but I really do appreciate the attention to detail um, in the hit sounds. Okay, so previously our hit sounds were just, just one tone. You know, you made a connection with your opponent, you uh, got an indicator with a, with a sound. Uh, so now what we can do, uh, let's see if I have it right. We get CL hit sounds, and we're going to go with two. Okay, so what this does is it changes the tone of the hit sound based upon how much damage you're dealing. So you hear that versus um, some of the, the lighter dings from before. Oops, as I hit my teammate. So it's a little bit lower tone. Let me let me change to the uh, to the arc here, and you can hear a lighter. Okay, well, if I didn't die. Let's see if I can find a, another enemy here. Okay, so you heard the lower tone when I hit a a bigger shot, like a Devastator shot. Let's see what it sounds like when I hit something with the arc. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's arc, and then you'll hear... Or you There you go, a lower, kind of more bassy sound of the uh, of that weapon. So this is this is Vorix. Uh, I've shown you the main areas of the map. I'm kind of taking the side path more often than not, but let's let's go along one of the lower or one of the uh, the upper routes. So the um, 
can see all of the little lava pits of death. Oh, one area that I think is, is kind of neat is this little little cove over here. So stay over here if you have the flag, if you dare. <laughs> it's, you could get trapped in here, but it's also a good little good little hiding space if you're if you're low. Um, up top is the mega armor, and as I was saying earlier, lots of little shards. Okay, folks, so that's about all I wanted to show you. So, uh, to summarize, we have the, the new in-game server browser. We got a couple of new Capture the Flag maps in Catharsis, Implosion, and Vorix. Uh, main new weapon is the Arc, which is hit scan, uh, curves a bit, overheats a bit. Oh, one thing I will add is that we're still uh, fine-tuning the, the look of this beam uh, and and how it sounds. Archer, in particular, is working on different sounds to, to make it sound a little bit more beefy. Um, so this, is, this isn't finalized by any means, um, but it gives you an adequate representation of what it's gonna, what it's going to feel like. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the buff system, which are like the little coins that uh, enhance the gameplay in one way or another. And then lastly, we talked about the hit sounds uh, that change tone based upon how much damage you're dealing. So that about sums it up. Um, again, I'm Antibody. Thanks for watching, and um, I look forward to seeing you in game. Cheers, and happy fracking, everyone.